the video. So check this tea out. We have Sweet Home Alamanda. Okay? Lady Nika sent a moneygram on the 28th of August, allegedly. Sweet Home Alamanda hasn't picked up the money from moneygram. What is the scam? Sweet Home Alamanda. Sweet Home Alamanda, you volunteered the money. It wasn't a loan you offered. The money that you offered was because of QI. You didn't want QI to look bad. Allegedly. Lady Nika. To scam or not to scam? Is Lady Nika a scammer? There's already this whole thing around Miss Lady Nika being a scammer. Is this factual this time? Sweet Home Alamanda was kicked out of TSCC. Sweet Home Alamanda was a moderator for TSCC. Cash apping several content creators, $10, $20, even though she needed money for her husband's co-payments, allegedly, for medication, allegedly, for bladder cancer. Sweet Home Alamanda purchased gifts for VS. You were a very strong supporter to VS and of content creators. Why is there a hundred dollars of your money that Lady Nika sent you sitting at Walmart at a money grant collecting dust? Here are some clips provided here for you. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. I put this compilation of this videos together all in one place of sweet home Alamanda and you make your own decision. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. Let me know down below in the comments what are your thoughts. Because it'll fill in some of those holes from the emails that I showed. But once again, you will be able to see in these text messages that I gave the address. You will also see where Nika claims that she accidentally wrote down the wrong address. Because as you'll saw in my emails, if you watch the video, you'll see I gave the correct address, which is 15923. Um, before that, she said that her daughter lied about putting it in the mail. Okay. Anyway, the very first two screenshots have some very personal information in them. It's not about me. It's not about Nika. It's not about anybody in this group. It's just information that has to do with the third party and I didn't put it out there because it's not anybody's business and this wasn't anybody's business to all these emails and all of these texts but when you're gonna lie and make shit up about me and make up fat fat can't even talk fake cash apps that aren't mine I have every right to defend myself and then to walk away and to be done with this shit. So, the very first two text messages are screenshots and I marked out the info. But I'm gonna read them all to you, okay? This is on August 19th, and you will be able to see the date in a minute when I scroll over to the screenshot, not the screenshots, the text, when I have to roll up and down, or scroll up and down, I should say. August 19th, hey, now this is me, hey, just checking in on you. 
I really hope you're feeling better. I'm so behind on YouTube and VS is not happy with me. Things looked a certain way when for the most part it wasn't the way it looked. Um, side note, this is referring to when the German lady was on and when I left the chat and everybody thinks I'm a huge racist. So that's what this is about. Um, maybe you need to ask my biracial daughter if I'm racist. Um, things looked a certain way when for the most part it wasn't the way it looked. I should have just mentioned I had to leave early anyway because we were expecting a call. And then I talk about the call. Oh. Anyway, I really hope you're feeling much better and that's the main reason I was texting you to make sure you're okay. Let me show you the end of the message, which is right there. You see where it was August 19th. Anyway, I really hope you're feeling much better and that's the main reason I was texting you to make sure you're okay. If there is a mess express tonight, I'll try to pop in there. I hope VS doesn't bite my head off. LOL. Nothing but love for her on my end. Hang in there and if you need me, I'm here. Have a good night. This really sounds like somebody that's trying to make somebody look bad, right? This sounds like somebody begging for money, don't it? And here's what Nika said back to me. Hey boo, I was going to text you to see if the mail came. I figured not today since it was mailed out Saturday. As for VS, she was confused by you leaving because folk said that you left behind because you didn't like a white woman getting roasted in the chat when you sit through black folks catching it. Folks made this about race when it was supposed to be a get to know German lady. The folks coming in the chat blew it up. Okay, and this is the screenshot where I had to mark out where she goes on about the thing I was telling you about that has nothing to do with any of this. Um, was supposed to be a get to know German lady, but folks coming in the chat blew it up. It's kind of sailing down now because VS and Seven almost had a debate. Seven called her out and didn't think she would come, and VS did. It's a lot of folks trying to do the girl. I'm sorry. It's a lot. Folks trying to do the girl, so she irritated to the max right now. As for me, my health is a mess. Still in a flare, but I can move around better today, so I'm blessed. Thanks for reaching out, Boo. I'll talk soon. Okay, now I can go just to my regular text messages, which are right here. You'll see the message at the top is the one that I just finished reading, okay? See how it scrolls, scrolling? There you go. Okay, let's see what day of what this is. Let me click August 19th, 6.34 p.m. I said, okay, I get it now. I think it's a big misunderstanding. Wow. Things get so misconstrued. I don't care for German lady. She's not my cup of tea. I have zero issues with her getting dragged or any other white person in the sector because that would be very hypocritical because black people get dragged back and forth all day, every day. 
Let me take a drink, please, if you don't care. And if you hear my dogs, I'm apologizing for that. So no, I don't have an issue with that at all. It got weird really fast and I was like, do I need to be here? So I thought that was one I needed to just sit out because I can't tell anybody how to feel. And as one of the few white people there, I don't ever want to say something that's going to be disrespectful if that makes sense and right after that was when I had to leave and I said everyone have a wonderful night anyway that's all it was this is YouTube and anyone can be it at any time I have texted with VS some but not a lot if it comes down to it, if she needs me to explain this or apologize to anybody, I will be more than happy to. I think it was just a big fat misunderstanding. Anyway, I don't think the letter came today, but it'll probably be here by Wednesday, I would think. But don't worry about that. Take care of yourself, okay? And don't overdo it. Once again, I'm begging, I'm begging for my hundred dollars, as you can see. This is her texting back to me, August 19th, 6.46 p.m. Yeah, that's what happened, and I'm sure she's not against talking. She's just going through a lot on YouTube. Girl, they even made videos about you claiming you left because of the racist stuff happening in the chat. They have moved on from German lady. Seven called VS out last night and punked out, then repeated it today. And of course, people creating bias narratives and trying to make her out as bad. Larry resurfaced trying to cause her problems and so you see why she feeling pressure. I didn't think you left for those reasons at all. Reach out when you feel she's in better spirits. I'm hopeful she'll understand. And this is me, August 19th at 6.49 p.m. Lord, I swear. You know all about it though. You've been there when it comes to YouTube mess. Yeah, I'll try to talk to her later. I did see the debate stuff. It's never ending. Take care, boo. Notice I say you've been there when it comes to YouTube mess. I know everything Lady, Lady Nika has been through. That's why I don't really understand why all this fake stuff was made up about me and not accepting money. Why wouldn't I want to accept my $100? Come on now. August 19th, 6.50 p.m. This is Nika. Yes, I do know that's why I'll go to prison if anybody ever tries me like that. I don't mess with people real life. I just joke. Well, you just, you just messed with mine, but I guess my, my life doesn't matter. Um, that was me giving a smiley face, and then she said back, It gets real on YouTube these days, unfortunately. I said right back, August 19th at 6.52 p.m. Yes, it does. Then Tuesday, August the 20th. 
Now here's the message from me. You know, the, the girl who is trying to make somebody look like a scammer who won't take money. Okay? August 20th. And when I read these messages that I've sent, it makes me feel sick inside. I sat here with my husband last night saying, how can people be like this? Why, why do things always have to end up this way when I already knew they would? Where are all the real people out there who really give a true shit about somebody? Anyway, this is my message to Lady Nika. August 20th, 4.31 p.m. I want you to know that I love you to pieces and I appreciate you explaining things to me further. I'm talking about her explaining why everybody was mad at me after that live because I wasn't on their fear for a few days because as I said before you're not allowed to get sick and be away in this group it prompted me to do a video and let me tell you Nika I do not do videos if you get a chance go check it out because there were so many people I see that were asking questions and saying really bad things that I thought the easiest way to do it was just to make a video. I would have done a live video but it was going to be hard to do since I don't have the amount of subs. So yeah, I just went ahead or sorry. So yeah, I made a video and for somebody that doesn't make them, that was hard to do. LOL. I hope you're feeling better. I really do. Sometimes when we talk on the phone, I love to tell you about my mystery illness that at many times I've thought was lupus, but my rheumatologist isn't convinced. Though my ANA tests have always been positive. Not that that is the definitive test for lupus, but nevertheless, it's always positive. I appreciate you so much. If there's anything at all that I could ever do for you, and I mean that, you better contact me. Middle of the night, any time of day, I don't care. You need to contact me if there's ever anything I could ever help you with. Thank you for understanding me and not automatically thinking the worst. Listen to the vid if you get a chance. Much love and blessings to you, Amanda. And then I said, right after that, sorry, that was a long one. Because y'all know I can't help it. I'm Southern. I run my mouth a hell of a whole lot and all of my con. Uh, comments are always really long. I'm sorry. That's just me. Um, let me go get the date first. That was August 20th at 4.40 p.m. She says, you are more than welcome, Amanda. Or, welcome, love. Amanda, I honestly think you're an awesome lady. And I'm glad VS has team members that care for her. That's why she's so strong. Unfortunately, I did not have that support, but still I made it through. Did your mail come today? I don't know how long it takes from Louisiana, but you will get it this week. Or all hell going to break loose down to the post office. Have y'all noticed in all of these that I'm not the one mentioning 
the money. Just bringing that part up. I understand, and I think VS does. She didn't yell last night, so I think she's going to be okay. We did not expect that interview to go left, and as always, they blamed VS and added on her mod left because she was uncomfortable. You didn't say any of that, and I told VS that. I think she listens to me somewhat, lol. You can talk to me anytime, Amanda. Real talk. I'm not funny acting. I've just been in this lupus flare-up for days, and it's working on my nerves. I gotta work tonight because no work, no income, and I refuse to be struggling to pay bills and eat. So, I'm going in about an hour, but always know I don't mind talking ever. You good people. Yeah, thanks for the stab in the back. Um, I will watch your video on my first break at work tonight. This is me answering back a few minutes later on August 20th. Thank you so much. You are in my prayers for you to get over this flare. I'm so sorry you're dealing with it and in all this sticky heat. Thanks for listening and I appreciate you more than you know. And she says, you're welcome and thank you as well. This was August 21st, me speaking to her. This is when I kind of came back to the chat and not many people would speak to me, obviously, because, you know, I, they thought I was a big racist. I said, hey, can you see me on the chat? I might be hidden. I hope you saw my vid. It would be great if you could mention it. And then I'm saying no one will talk to me. And then it was mentioned on the video and people, that's when people were made aware of it and went and watched it. So this is me thanking her because I'm assuming she's the one that mentioned it to VS during the live. I said, thank you, Nika. I appreciate it so much. I hope you're better today. You look great. Now, as y'all can see, still didn't ask about any money. Um, a little after that, I say to her, Oh my God, the second I got off of watching y'all, I can hear my dog playing in the bathroom, and I turned the light on, and there was a snake in my bathroom. Yes, it was just a garden snake, but I don't care, because how did you get in my bathroom? So, I'm not happy. Yeah, that really happened, and that was, uh, really freaky. Um... This is late Thursday night. Nika had mentioned in one of her lives, she had asked me if I had received the package and I just said no. And she said, okay, well, I'll call you tomorrow. And by tomorrow, she meant Thursday. Well, she didn't call me on Thursday, August 22nd, which is fine. I didn't care. And this is her saying, you know, instead of calling me on Thursday, she's saying, I'll call tomorrow. I'm exhausted. Good night. Which was fine. I was exhausted too. Of course, 
tomorrow came and went and I didn't hear anything. Um, then this would be this past Wednesday. Amanda, check your cash out, Mama. Amanda, check your cash out, Mama. She sent it twice at the same time. That was at 7.30 on Wednesday. I know, I know why that's coming in. She probably sent those at two different times and this piece of shit phone was dead as usual. And this is probably when I plugged it in because I'm answering her right after she sent that and I know she had already sent that hours before. But it's not going to show me exactly when she sent it because as all of y'all know if your phone's dead and you plug it in to get it started all the messages that you would have got started coming in. Um, this is where I answer back and said, Hey, I've been sick and dead to the world. I just checked. Hold on and I'll check again. And at uh, Wednesday, 7.46 a.m., I said, It's showing nothing new. And then she sent me this screenshot. Notice it says, Alamanda. Sweet Home Alamanda Carousel. Payment to dollar sign Sweet Home Alamanda. Now y'all, that's not my cash out. So somebody went out of their way to make a cash out with a different name just to make me look bad. Hmm. And this is what she says. You don't see this on your end? Or a request to accept? Oh my, I'm sorry you feeling bad. I'm so sorry and I pray you feel better. Y'all saw on my last video... All the way back on August 14th, I gave her my cash out. And at one point in time, at the beginning when she would never, she couldn't get it to come through, I even sent her a request. But I may be wrong, that may, may have been a PayPal request, not a cash app, I can't remember. And then I guess she sent me this photo, same thing, waiting for Amanda, sweet home Al Amanda Carison to accept this payment. Well that's great, but I don't know who Amanda, sweet home Al Amanda Carison is. That must be somebody that has a cash out that's very close to mine. Imagine that. Hmm. It's waiting for you to accept it on your end. I sent it like that because I was sick and I put $15,990. So it came back to me yesterday. So I sent it via cash out. Let me show the date. Go accept it and your money is there. Now, do y'all understand what that means? She's saying that when she sent money in the mail, that she was sick and she accidentally put the wrong address. She put 15990, not 15923, which is my address. But let's see, isn't what they're saying is that I gave the wrong address? 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Did y'all really think I wasn't gonna come back and show this shit? See, I didn't have this attitude at the beginning of this video, but the more I read these, the matter I get. This is me saying to her, when I checked it, I didn't. This shit is so aggravating, ain't it? And see, at this point, I'm still not saying something's not right. Something's looking a little weird. I say, as soon as I get back home, I'll check again. Because we were at the doctor's office. Um... She says, okay, babes, I'll wait on you then because it's there. And yes, ma'am, it can be aggravating, but we will see once you get home. And I go home and I was looking at it. Maybe they just thought I wouldn't think about it. But I got to looking and I'm like, wait a minute. That ain't my cash out. This is my cash out. Amanda Carrison. Dollar sign. Amanda. Sweet home. And I sent her the photo of that. And I say, hey, that's not my cash out ID. Mine is Amanda Sweet Home. Because I started thinking about it. And I said, but I'll be home in an hour or so. We'll figure it out. Loved your possum story. See where I said we'll figure it out? I'm still not mad. I'm still not angry. Still not trying to look make somebody look like a scammer if I wanted to make somebody look like a scammer wouldn't I just be telling this shit and putting it out there before now and this is another photo is this one you even though you see I just sent that one Look at that. Now we've gone and made another cash out called dollar sign Amanda Sweet. Amazing. I can't believe somebody would go through all of this to make me look like a liar. So I hope y'all feel good about it. I really do. I hope y'all feel great about it. But I know y'all don't care. And then I tell her which one is me. It's dollar sign Amanda Sweet Home. And this is where she, I guess this is her, um, what am I trying to say? This is her cash up, I guess she showed me a photo of, and she's check marked it as suggested and sent it, but I didn't make that cash out. That's not mine. So now we're up to two cash ups, I guess. Well. You clearly see me say right there, hashtag Amanda Sweet Home. 
When I try to send, this comes up. Is that not you? And I don't want to go all the way down because it does have the money ground thing. I'm doing money. This was Wednesday, 1.41 p.m. I'm doing money ground because it's my last day off for the week and I need this settled. So I know there's a Walmart in your area. So I'll send the info, but money ground was my last stop. And then I'm not going to show that. She gives what the number is and she shows a photo of the money gram so there you go take it or leave it but that's the truth it's not my truth it's the truth do I need to go show my cash out one more time so everybody will be happy that I'm not full of shit. Come on, cash out. Pull up. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is my cash out. I'm going to click on the little person. Dollar sign. Amanda, sweet home. I'm going to click on up at the top right, my history. Here's my activity of completed. Here's all the people I've sent money to ever. And Drew Murray was the last person I sent $20 to on the 22nd. And before that was this $100 that I sent to VS. This is my cash out. This is what it's always been. I can't believe that all of this started because I was trying to help somebody out and I got screwed. I really appreciate it. Thanks guys. Hey y'all. Tag. I'm it. <sighs> if people can lie on me and I have seen show some receipts, then I'm able to defend myself. I shouldn't be doing this because my husband's like, you're just making yourself sicker, you're making yourself worry about it more. And he's like, you know the truth, so who cares what everybody else thinks, but I don't care. I just feel like I have to be honest and just show my side, take it for what it's worth. Um, maybe base it on your past with me. It just, um, yeah, it amazes me sometimes when you feel like you're just getting stabbed in the back, you know, when you feel like you've been good to people. But it is what it is. I guess it's my turn. So whatever. Um, I shouldn't have watched part of that video, but I did. And I didn't watch very much because it just made me sick. Um, but the little bit that I saw, it sounds like I'm trying to be, be made out to somebody that was begging for 
um, hundred dollars that I was owed and but then I wouldn't take the hundred dollars if that's what I'm getting to maybe make someone look like a scammer and of course we're talking about Lady Nika in no way do I think Lady Nika's a scammer at all I don't know why this went left like this but you know when money's concerned I don't know why but these things seem to always happen anyway the shortest part of this is just way back in the beginning of August I believe it was the 7th um, QI was trying to send some money to VS on a live stream and it wasn't going through and I felt bad and Nika felt bad and we just basically wanted to go ahead and send it to VS and just get it done because we didn't want QI to look bad. Well in the end I just went ahead and sent VS a hundred dollars. I didn't know it, that's all I could really do at that time. Anyway, and Nika was like, well, I'll, I'll get, get it back to you on your PayPal. And I'm like, that's fine, it's no big deal. I hate having to do this, because I said I would never do this, but I have just the right to defend myself as anybody else does. I mean, I had to start another channel just to put this video up because I had deleted my other channel. Um, let me go. I know it says the 28th, but it's got old ones on there. Okay. August 14th, uh, me and Nika had talked on the phone and I can't even remember what the issue about the money was then. Um, but this is me getting back to her and saying, sorry I had to get off the phone so quick. My winger dog puked on the bed and I had to strip it. Uh, and don't worry about it, please. I know you're good for it. I haven't thought about it at all. Just take care of yourself, and if you need anything that I can help with, or if you just need to talk or vent, I'm here. Love, Amanda. And she asked me to give my stuff. There you go, folks. There's my address for the whole world to see, okay? Not that you couldn't have looked it up anyway. Fifth. 9-23. That is where I live. That is where my mail goes to. I did not give anybody a fake address ever. As you can see. Wait, let me do this right here so you see who it was sent to. It was sent to Lady Nika from me. Um, and look below it, you'll see my cash out. Dollar sign, Amanda, sweet home. It's always been that. It's never changed. Okay? Uh, blah, blah, blah. That down there at the bottom is like all the way back. When we, when we were trying to send the money through. Okay, let's see. 26. Okay, I sent her this on the 26th. Now, in between some of this, there has been some texting. So, when I get off of this screen recorder, I'll be more than glad to go to my phone and I will do a video and just show you all the text messages. Hey, why not? Because everybody's going to make up shit anyway, right? So I'm just going to show the whole thing and 
believe it or don't. Um, four days ago to Lady Nika, this was August 26th. This is really the first time I have really even asked her about the money. I have gone into some of her lives and she would be like, did you get the package? Did you get the package? And I would just say, no, I didn't get the package, but I wasn't worried about it because I know she's good for it. Okay. Let me take a drink. Okay. Uh, anyway, I said, I haven't been online most of Saturday and not at all on Sunday, so if anything big happened, girl, I am lost. Listen, I didn't expect it would take this long for the money to arrive since you said you sent it on Saturday, August 17th. I know you said you were going to call me on Friday and then on Saturday, but I didn't hear from you. I'm not, a, I'm not mad about it at all. But I re really need it because it's going towards my husband's copay for his procedure. He needs his cystoscopy to make sure his cancer has it returned. And say a prayer that it has it. For the most part, we struggle like everyone else does, unfortunately. Anyway, just write me back when you get this and don't worry, we'll get this figured out. Love you, chick. I'm going to try to go get caught up on the train. Yeah, this really sounds like somebody that's worried to death about her money. Uh, let's see. She got... She got back to me. That's me replying. That's her replying to me. Um... Uh, I sent that at 2.03 a.m. And she replied at 2.10 a.m. really quick. Hey there, I'm sorry I did not call. It's been hectic, especially with my ceiling falling in. And I did hear her story and yes, it was hectic. Having a um, possum family in your house? No, that would not be fun. I found out my dearest little daughter did not put that in the mail Saturday as I instructed her to. She hit me with, she forgot. Young adults work me. She told me she did it Tuesday night after I mentioned your mail should hit by the next day. Honestly, I didn't even know what to say. I was livid because as I explained, it makes me look shady. That is not the case. So here's what I can and will do. I get paid this week. Weekly pay. So although you should definitely have your funds back by then, I'll send you an additional $100 because of the length of time. I apologize. My hard-headed daughter lied to me about the postage date. I honestly am, but I'll make this right. Postage date. This is me answering her back. The next morning. Hey, Lord no, Nika. I don't want an extra $100. Absolutely not. I just need the $100. I'm so sorry about the roof issues. I hope you got that under control. It's been coming a flood here the past two days. Hell, I had a snake in my bathroom Thursday night. That was fun. But yeah, I don't want any extra money, babe. And everything is and has been between us two. I'll let you know when I have it. Have a good day. She writes that. Um, a little, yeah, a little after that. 
I just feel obligated because of my mindless child. You are on weight still. I am so sorry for this, Amanda. I would never play you out because I simply have no reason to. And, um... I don't think Nika has any reason to, and I never thought she was trying to play me out. So this made up stuff, I, what can I say? That's this sector for you. I understand she was excited about her birthday and going to Vegas, but her negligence makes me look real crazy and normally I would simply I've sent it to you, but due to missing days at work because of my flare-up with lupus and co-pays, I do not have $100 on hand today. I am praying that mail comes today or tomorrow because it is yours and you should have had it by now, but she lied about the date that she mailed it out. I am upset about that, so I will do more in this case because you have been patient. Let me read that again. I am upset about that, so I will do more in this case because you have been patient. Your money will be in your hand this week. This I guarantee that and thank you so much for not going crazy on me and being patient. But you will have um, your husband's copay this week. I've, I haven't mentioned that to a lot of people. It's not anybody's business, but nobody cares anyway. My husband was diagnosed with bladder cancer back in December. He has had surgery to have it removed, but he is supposed to be going back for cystoscopies and they are charging him a lot. Let me just put it that way. And anyway, that's what that's about. And I say, Nika, you have no explaining to do, my dear. It never crossed my mind. Here, let me do that so y'all don't think it's real. It never crossed my mind that you aren't sending it or wouldn't send it, I promise you. And whatever you do, don't send me anything else that I'm not do, and I mean it. I know times are hard, and I understand money issues, probably more than you realize. Some of these folks ain't right. I've seen them comment that that girl's white. She's got lots of money as a big contributor to TSCC. I always laugh when I see those comments because I don't know why they would think I have money automatically because I'm white. And then I say not everyone. I've only seen a few people say that. Lord, they need to come and show me this fat bank account I'm supposed to have. They also need to come see where I grew up at. I came from a very poor county that was 100% Caucasian. And then this next chapter is just me telling her something interesting about where I grew up. But I'll go ahead and read that too. So, nobody thinks I'm cutting stuff out. Um, oh, and an interesting side note about the county I grew up in. And I'm not just telling you this just because you are black. I'm telling you because it's just a very interesting story. I grew up in Winston County in North Alabama. Winston County actually seceded from the South mainly because they opposed slavery and everyone was too poor to own slaves anyway. And they threatened to secede from the state of Alabama if they did not let the county remain neutral because the county didn't want to be in the war at all. 
in the end there actually was a Union regiment formed from Winston from residents of Winston County only and they fought for the North so we're called the Free State of Winston you didn't know you were going to get a history lesson today did you lol Anyway, if you're interested in learning more about it, you can definitely look it up. Because, of course, there is a lot more to this story. I just love history. I never did in school, but now I can't get enough of it. Wow, I got way off topic. I'm not typing this, and I'm using my voice text, so it's much easier to end up with a very long email or comment, especially when it's me because I run my mouth way too long. But back to the issue at hand, please don't feel bad about it. And think that I'm thinking the worst because I promise you I am not. I am not that man up in Baltimore or any of those folks. I'm probably one of the most I'm probably one of the most understanding people you'll ever find because, honey, my husband and I have been through everything. Also, just so you know, I haven't mentioned any of this to Susie. She asked me if I got my money back, and that was probably a week ago. And I just told her we were getting it handled, so that's all that's been said. Damn, this is getting really long, so I'm going to shut up now and stop right here. But even with all that, I feel like I've left something out. But don't fret or worry about it, because you know stress isn't good for lupus. If you read this far, give yourself a trophy. Amanda. That was um, August 29th. Or I'm sorry. Dude, that's 20, that was 26. I'm sorry. Uh, right here. And this. She replied to this what that I read earlier but I think she just replied to you know any email that she saw like you can reply to old emails um where did that go oh she says check your cash out right here Okay, I just saw it. Right here. Wait just a minute. Let me go back. This one right here. Where I, way back on August 14th. I see where she um talked back to me and said this is the next day i understand and thanks for providing the information and i will send you a text soon as i feel better and can walk without pain with the information to get your funds Thanks again for your patience. I still do not know why your PayPal link did not work, but worry not, I will get it to you. Thank you again for everything. And that was on August 15th. But then down here, um, this is three days ago, this is August 27th. She says, Check your cash app, Amanda. I called and left voicemail and text. If she left a voicemail or text, 
And I know that she left the text because when my phone's dead, when I get up, my phone is dead. I had the shittiest phone that's ever been made. Side note, don't ever get a, a Google Pixel. They're the pieces, biggest piece of crap you'll ever have. Anyway, um, once I plug it up, then I start getting messages in. But I don't know what time they were originally sent. But yes, she has sent some messages, you know, telling me to check stuff. Yes, that part is true. Uh, okay, I wanna let me get back to this in two days ago. Um, August 27th, Amanda, check your cash out. Uh, called with voicemail text. And here's me. Hey, sorry, I'm just getting this email. I've been asleep a long time. When I feel bad, I have to take a certain type of medicine and it knocks me out. I just checked my cash out and I didn't see anything different. And of course, my phone is dead, but once I get it charged up, I will check. And of course, once I got it charged up, that's when messages will come through. But I'm on my tablet. That's where I look for things. And she says, okay, let me, yeah, let me show you all the dates. That was August 28th, 7.25 a.m. Okay, let me know because I sent you a hundred dollars. Here's what I see on my end. Amanda, sweet home, Alamanda Carousel. Uh, dollar sign, sweet home, Alamanda. That's not my thing. I go to the cash out. Here's my cash out. There's my name, Amanda Carousel. There's my cash out, dollar sign, Amanda Sweet Home. <sighs> Can't believe how to do this stupid stuff. Here's my history. Last person I sent something to was Religion Week TV. On the 22nd. And then the one before that was um, to VS. And that's the name of my cash app, and that's what it's always been. So I don't know what receipts people are showing. But they ain't nothing come to this cash out. Actually, I don't think anybody's ever sent me anything to the cash out. Um, yeah, I think that's... Let me go back in there. I th think that may be it on here. Oh no, I'm sorry. Okay. Come on a minute. Now this email I'm about to show was the email um, that I sent Nika after I did finally see messages on my phone and I got a, a uh, text from Susie. Um, you know, tell me to stay away or whatever. Um, Y'all can make fun of this all you want. Go for it. I have severe depression, mainly due to um, the stupid disease that I still don't have a name for. But most of my time in 
is spent here at home and people will always say you know how did you end up at this sector or whatever i just ended up on youtube because i'm bored out of my mind and i wanted to meet people to talk with and make friends and people to talk to that's how um but i'm just showing all this because i'm trying to be 100% transparent but I sent Nika this message um, or this email right after I saw that text and everything and you know she hasn't texted me back or anything but uh, that's why I'm addressing it first before I read it because yes I, I do deal with severe depression and yes I do go through many days where I don't want to be here and then suicide does go through my brain okay so if you want to make fun of it knock yourself out okay Oh, let me back out again. Uh, one more thing I wanted to say. The last text message I got from Nika says that she's just going to send me my money uh, via um, MoneyGram and that once she gets to MoneyGram, she'll give me the number. And she did send that. It's on my phone. And like I said, I'll do another video and I will show you where she did send that. And I have to go pick it up at MoneyGram. So, I guess, yeah, I guess that's all I just wanted to say. So, anyway. So this is me, you know, replying to that basically. <sighs> this was August 29th. And if I get emotional, go ahead and make fun of that too. Hey, thanks for getting back to me. Or I guess I should say, sorry, I'm just now getting back to you. Like I've said before, when I feel really bad, I just have to take medicine and I literally sleep for hours and hours and hours. When I can, I will pick up the money. I appreciate it. You know, obviously being online, no one knows me inside and out. By now, there's one thing that nobody can deny. There's pretty much nothing I won't do for others, and I always want to help others in any way I'm able. And when I got up tonight and saw a message that Susie had sent me, I looked at it around 2 in the morning, I guess is when I saw it first. And for whatever reason, it doesn't surprise me at all. I'm sure she's already mentioned it to you because she was mentioning the money. I always get dumped on even when I don't deserve it. I was a good friend, but one way friendships just don't work and I wish her the best. As I sit and talk this text into email form with tears running down my face, I don't know why keep trying to make friends online. I guess I just, I just get so tired of being alone. I have this stupid disease that leaves me home about 90% of the time and when it comes to the depression that I have, there's a lot that others don't know about. I never talked about it to anyone in that group as far as I know, and to be perfectly honest, no one cares anyway. Not truly. I don't know who I can trust with anything anymore. I guess nobody can be trusted. And I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I guess because I'm just over this world. 
I need my mom back. I need my father back desperately. And now that my husband was diagnosed with bladder cancer, but is doing well as far as I know, because he hasn't had the cystoscopy since, there's nothing left that makes me want to get up out of bed. To feel so alone and so sad that suicide is something that stays in my head every single day. Well, it's just tons of fun. And when these things happen, it affects me profoundly and made me not like it would others. But why am I even telling you? Thanks for sending the money and I will get it when I can. I don't care about this life anymore at all. I'm sorry if I bothered you and I promise I won't bug you anymore. Or send more emails or texts. I also deleted my channel. Thanks for reading or listening, Amanda. And that's the last thing I sent. I, if you see at the top, you'll see a draft, but I never sent it because what's the point? I said I wouldn't send anything back, so I won't. Um. No, I don't talk on the phone a lot. I heard her say that. Um, I heard BS say that. No, I don't. I don't talk on the phone a lot. It's... You can ask my husband. You can ask anybody. I don't. Um, no, I never came on camera. I'm not like y'all. I just don't have... The confidence that y'all do. I wish I did, but I just don't. I'm not hiding anything. There's nothing to hide. I'm just a regular white woman, a wife, a mom from Alabama. That's it. There's not much else to tell. Anyway, I guess that's it. It was long enough.